Hey girl, welcome back. Listen, we got Mr. Jack Harlow in the building. Welcome Jack to the show. We're going to kind of get into the cards and kind of find out who is Jack Harlow because girl, I don't know. I see he, his name is Trendy. I see he was at the Grammys. I know he performed one time with Brandy and I'm like, okay, you know Brandy? Okay, so that means he cool people. So, but then it's like after he performed with Brandy, Brandy got sick and got put in the hospital. So I'm like, wait a minute now, Jack. Did you? Could you? Girl, I don't know. Jack said he didn't have nothing to do with it, girl. But, so I just want to know, girl, who is Jack? So I'm going to pull a few cards, see who Jack is, and then see what's the energy behind Jack and see what we can expect from Jack, honey. Okay, we're getting into it. So... Divine Angels, if you will, please give me the best cards from this deck to describe who is Jack Carlo, okay? Because I really want to know who is Jack. So let's jump straight into it. I know you guys know Jack. At least y'all claim y'all know, honey. Let's see. That's enough, Jack. That's enough. Okay. Jack, we're going to put the whole deck out here. So, I just need to know a little bit about you, Jack. I don't need to know your whole life story, baby. It says gossip. Okay. So, do Jack like the gossip? Gossip or are people gossiping about Jack? Okay. I don't know. I didn't see he was trending for anything bad. I didn't really pay attention, girl. I just was like, they said he was. it was all about his performance. Okay. So, he wasn't fighting backstage, girl, like some people we know. But let's keep it moving, girl. So they said that Jack is, Jack is in his energy, it's a lot of gossip. It says awakening, consideration for the feelings of other, and honoring trust. Okay, so he's loyal. That's good on the outside. Okay, but what he ain't showing us is that he thrives on the power of passing on private or secret information and kind of betraying confidence. Okay, he might be an informant. Girl, that's what the cards say. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so let's just keep that in mind. Next, he's a pioneer. Okay, that's good. You know, he's an artist. That makes sense. I really haven't heard much of his music, but I mean, I'm clear. I'm, I mean, he's hanging out with Brandy, so I'm sure he's cool. Like I said, I'm going to have to listen to something. But it says um, that he has a passion for doing and creating what has not been done before. Oh, he that good? Okay, cool. I'm going to check that out. But the shadow attribute speaks about he's compulsive and need to keep on moving. So he don't never sit down. Okay, he maybe got a little ADHD or ADHD, ADD or whatever you call it, girl. I ain't diagnosing the man, but it's just like he just constantly moving. And most creative people say they are like that. So, bam. We've got the knight. Okay, so he got some good cards. I mean, come on, Jack. It says he's loyal. Romance. He says loyalty, romance, and chivalry. A honor of love. Oh, he love and honor love. But the shadow attribute speaks about uh, a allegiance to a destructive ruler or principle. Romantic delusions. Oh, Lord. Do he crush on people who don't have a crush on him? Do he... Okay, is he an Eminem that, you know, you know, back in the day, Eminem used to say he was with Mariah Carey and all these people. And it's like, but Mariah just straight out denying you. She even came out with a little diss song. I'm like, look at Mariah standing up for herself. It's like, so is Jack one of those type of people? Girl, we moving on. So it says a child divine. It speaks about innocence, purity, and redemption. Suggests a special connection with the divine. Okay, that's cute. It also speaks about an inability to defend oneself against negative forces. So it's almost like, you know, he's in like a little child state. He do kind of like a little boy in this little suit, girl. I ain't going to even lie to you. But it says he has the inability to defend himself against any negative forces. Okay, so he needs to he needs to look out he needs to look into that, honey. That seems like it, that may be a problem, especially in Hollywood. Baby, you're gonna need to be able to protect yourself. But it also speaks about a prince. Not not all these good cards showing up for Mr. Jack Hollow. Okay, so he's showing up as a cool person. You know, people gossiping and speaking about him. Oh, he he may girl he may like to 
you know, tell a few things. And he may be, you know how one of those people are who always talking. And it's like you've been I told somebody's secret on accident. But it says he's a pioneer. He's a knight. Not just any knight. He's a prince. And then he has a child divine, which means, you know, he has a ch childlike spirit. But it says he's kind of naive. He may not be able to protect himself, especially in Hollywood. So he needs to make sure he stay alert. Okay, so the prince speaks about romantic charm and potential for power. Okay, so you see he got chivalry here. He also spoke, spoke about chivalry up here. It says using power for self, um, for some type of self-empowerment. But, but it also speaks about some type of delusions when it comes to romance. He also shows up as a mentor, passing on wisdom and refining a student's character and ability to allow the student to move on to the role of master and pardon false instructions. Okay, maybe maybe telling little lies, honey. You know, when he trained you, he don't want you to go and do better than him. You know, he want to keep you as his mentor. But it's like, bruh, I'm, I'm moving on. I'm about to go work for another company. But it says he's also a monk and a nun. Selfless devotion and single-minded de dedication to spirit also speaks about a negative judgment of the physical world, a sense of pity. So that kind of connects to the childishness or his inner naiveness, okay? So when he go out and can't protect himself against what's going on in Hollywood or even in these streets, honey, he'll probably seclude himself and go within or maybe even go to the house, honey, and stay in the house for weeks, days and weeks. Uh, but it also speaks about, you know, a knight. You know, he's a romantic knight, pioneer, okay? You know, but he might talk a lot and maybe tell some white lies, honey. He may even betray your confidence, whether he know it or not, honey. He done did it. So, let's look at the energy. What can we expect now that we know who he is, honey? Let's see what can we expect for him when it comes to his career. You know what? I'm going to pull these cards. These tell the career stuff, I guess. So, what can we expect for Jack Hollow's career? Okay. What can we expect, honey? So, they said the sun, honey. They said things are going to be bright for Mr. Jack. Mr. Harlow, should I say. Okay, so... We're going to say we got the sun here. It says a time of great joy and success. Okay, congratulations. Brilliant epiphanies that lead to magical opportunities. Plans that work out perfectly. Gratitude to the divine. So he seems like he's a very spiritual man. That's good. He stay prayed up. So the sun definitely says that's the ultimate career, honey. Happiness, it says, you know, things are are working out like he getting so type all type of great opportunities that he never could dream of. They're just coming out to him because he's been so very he's been so prayed up. So we got the Knight of Pentacles. So his money is gonna be good for sure. Loyal dedication, protective, okay, apprehensive, plan carefully before taking action, you know, instead of being comp compulsive and you know and moving too much and doing too much. It says, think before taking any actions. Make sure you read the contract before you sign, honey. Okay, because all these opportunities may not be too magical. But I don't see any, you know, reason why you can't trust them. But girl, make sure. It says, pay attention to the details. Exactly. Wait for the perfect timing. Okay. Because you got plenty of time to sign. Don't let nobody rush you into a contract. And it says, a guardian angel or someone who watches over you. Oh, you probably have a grandparent or a a relative that watches over him that he believes is watching over him that prays for him okay I see somebody praying for him two people look like it could be a man and a woman he prays for himself okay we got a mentor here you know he probably had a mentor in his life that he wants to make sure he returned the favor but he thinks when somebody moves on they're leaving him it's like no sir I'm going to work for Google baby I mean I done learned all I can learn from you okay so and then he probably started talking and speaking about it okay telling his side but it's like you're telling too much baby you told all my business okay so let's see is there anything going on with him that we need to know anything else I'm gonna pull from this deck 
I mean, he's such a romantic guy. Is he dating anybody? Every time I see him, he's on the carpet by himself. When I do see him, it's just like, where did this person come from? It's like, I'd be so shocked. I'm like, who's this person? Every time. So it's like, okay, I'm getting to know him. It's like he's he a sweet little guy. So let's see. What's the energy around his love life? Let's see. What's the energy around Jack Hollow's love relationship? We're going to just take three cards, honey. If you can't tell us what three cards, baby, they, ain't, they don't need to be known. Okay, so let's see. We got the Ten of Cups. Okay, that's the ultimate love. But this like a this is definitely it looks like completion, you know, being connected with everybody. You know, he probably friends with everybody. But this also Ten of Cups, the ultimate love, the ultimate family, ultimate connection, completion. But we got the magician here, honey. You know, put a spell on somebody. <laughs> or he just got all the tools that it takes to um, carry out a healthy relationship because he's showing up as a knight. He's romantic. You know, he, he can mentor, honey. He'll coach a football team. Uh, he know how to stay home, girl, with the monk card. Okay, now he's going to probably tell too much of y'all business, girl, at the at the Christmas party. But, okay, you got just, you know, you got to just take it as it is. Okay, but he's showing up as the magician and the star. Okay, now this can also say that he let his freedom fl flag fly. So whatever that means, okay, whichever way the pole swings, it swings, okay. It, but it says that, you know, as far as his love life, he's complete in that area. Now he's secretive about it with this magician. He ain't speaking too much about it, baby. So what are you doing with this um, star card? Okay, because like I said, you're the star. You know, you're in Hollywood, baby. Are you doing some strange things? For some change, baby, let, let us know, or or maybe not, because with the magician he may not let you know. But whatever it is, he fully he fully complete about it. Okay, he's happy about it. So, girl, we're gonna stay out the man business. So that's gonna conclude the reading for Jack Hollow. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Okay, if you did, y'all hit that like button. Okay, and I'll catch you on the next video. Talk to you later. Bye.